So hello and welcome to this video. Finally, I'm able to just play on the Russian, on the wonderful, wonder, wonder, wonderful Russian test server. And well, we got some news, of course. Well, since this is an update news video, I'm gonna cover up the most important news, of course. As you can see, we got some new flags. Uh, you're probably gonna enjoy it. Uh, these flags, if you're from, I think that's Pakistan. That is Bangladesh. That's Oh my god, I'm not that good in geography. I think Iran and this Tunisia? I'm not sure, but um, anyways, we got some new flags. And of course, the golden AK Alpha, and also the normal AK Alpha, which is kind of strong, but just kind of strong. If you look at the stats, you will notice that it's kind of strong. And we get another big change, the... Well, not that big change. I mean, the Chris Super 5 got a nice um, little nerf, which is really good in my opinion, because this gun is kind of overpowered. And I think it's good that it's finally getting nerfed. No, the safe house you probably won't see anything except maybe for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It takes 8 bullets now. I think before it took like, I don't know, maybe four bullets, I'm not sure, but um, the damage drop of this weapon got increased, that means on a high range you won't deal as much damage as before, which makes it weaker. Definitely not useless, the Chris Super 5 is definitely still gonna be a really good entry weapon, but it's a bit worse than before. And what else have we got? Well, we've got some other um, buffed or nerfed weapons. As you can see here, they buffed the Typhoon. I don't exactly know, even know what they buffed about it. And they ner and what am I talking about? Nerfed. If they nerfed their Heckler & Koch UMP, that would, that would be horrible. Well, they buffed it as well. I like the Fostec. The Fostec got um, more RPM now, as far as I know. Okay, well, they um, reduced the recoil of the Heckler & Koch UMP, and luckily I can't buy it because it costs um, 39 credits. And they increased the damage multiplier to the limbs. And with the Fostec, for the golden one, um, the golden one has now got 210 damage, a decreased maximum spread, that also counts for the normal one, and a reduced spread while walking and jumping, and reduced side swing while jumping. And also the well, the normal one has now got um, at RPM of two hundred. As I said, it got increased, and yeah, that's it with the buffs and nerfs. I oh, yeah, by the way, the Chris has. N I definitely want to see that that uh, scope here. It looks like this. Oh my god, <laughs> that's way better. That's definitely way better. Okay, and the game is a bit too loud, but I think that's not a problem. We will move on to the strongest... To, one of the strongest weapons in this update. The Golden AK Alpha. So, that's the special scope you got on this weapon. There, you got a grip. A special grip. A special suppressor. And the normal standard suppressor. And... Ratatatatata. The recoil seems extremely easy for an AK. Holy shit, that's basically nothing. That's just... Look at that, that's nothing. That's really absolutely nothing. That's insane. Okay, and about the Typhoon. Unluckily, on the Europe server, at least the... Um, My.com didn't announce a buff of the Typhoon, but I'm pretty sure that they buffed something about it. And... Ah, they also changed the scope. Looks much better now. But I'll probably still keep using this scope because I feel like it's better. But anyways, now to the even more important part. Let's go. Oh my god, that's much better. Finally, when you slide against a wall, when an enemy slides against a wall, they won't just... Oh, that's actually pretty good, you can just... Wait... Just... Can you? Yeah, 
Okay. When you um, slide against a wall, you will just do this kind of animation before you stand up, and um, that makes it harder to. Well, that makes teleports more unlike unlikely to happen. I mean, you can disagree with this system, but I prefer it over the system where you just slide against a wall and. Ah, oh, well, you can still. Okay, I think I found something. <laughs> you can just slide against the wall, then jump, and that might cause some kind of teleports too. Let's see. I don't know. Let's see. And we also got smokes. Ah, they look way better. And let's see if we got some FPS drops when throwing a lot of them. No, we don't. And they look way better. I mean, oh my god, I'm actually so f f fun happy about that. Because, <laughs> just look at it. There's a smoke. You can't look through it. You can't look through it here. You can't look through it here. And if you're in there, you can't look through it. That's just perfect, and that counts for every smoke. Perfect, isn't it? And well, the 64-bit system. We now got a 64-bit system on the Russian test server, at least. I don't know if they will actually update the Europe server to the 64-bit system in the next update already. But um, we are gonna get that 64-bit system pretty soon. And I don't even really know what it improves exactly, but... I think um, the game will definitely be more playable and without, no, not without, with lag, less lags. But I'm not sure because I don't actually know what a change from a um, 32 to 64 bit system does. I mean, in a game like Warface, but it sure as hell is good. And this weapon is also good, sure as hell. Oh my god, and it's probably gonna take some time till everybody gets used to this new slide system. <laughs> Let's see if we're gonna see people abuse something else like sliding against a wall and jumping. I don't know. This might be the next thing. Sliding against a wall, jumping, shooting. I don't know. Let's see. But I think that's pretty much it for the update news. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll definitely do a video with the AK-12, that's for sure. But I'd say that's it for the video, and thanks a lot for watching, as usual, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.